right guys welcome back so today we're gonna be it's gonna be a reaction video as you guys can see today we're gonna be reacting to um stupid thieves caught on camera by b amaze so yeah we're gonna be watching some thieves like getting caught on camera and i want to see their reaction after this like got get caught you know through camera i want to see the reaction the thieves reaction i want to see how it goes you know when when you get when you get caught stealing i want to see like what happens what do they do i want to know so let's get started shall we it's gonna be funny because if, if they get caught they can't do anything they're fucked basically they're fucked yeah criminals are often portrayed as suave sophisticated figures who rob banks and museums <laughs> in tailored suits with high-tech gadgets that unfortunately the reality let's see this. is a little bit less glamorous and most mm -hmm. thieves are considerably less intelligent than the characters. Look at the dog. The silver screen. I have to the fucking the small as I checking out a police lineup of clumsy criminals, bumbling what the fuck? and moronic shoplifters. As we oh take a look my. at some seriously stupid thieves who were caught on camera. Oh yeah. Let's get right into it. If you've ever watched a heist movie, you'll know that a successful robbery requires a few things. A ragtag crew of misfits, a montage sequence, that? and most importantly, a scene from the Fast and Furious escape vehicle. Unfortunately, <laughs> this first stupid thief missed that memo. Let's see this shit. Oh, he got no getaway vehicle, I think. He was caught stealing, but the thing is, he got no getaway person. Oh. Well, he took it back. What the fuck? That's a dumbass thing right there. What the? <laughs> he just took it back. He ra even though he ran away, he took it back. The store and running into the yeah. parking lot, this dim-witted criminal took his eyes and hands <laughs> off the prize by chucking his <laughs> ill-gotten gains into the oh my. Of his top truck. Everybody loves a good chase sequence. But this one was a little. <laughs> this one is nothing. As yeah. The employee casually jogged up to the truck, grabbed the stolen goods, oh, and shit. walked away, forcing the thief to drive off empty-handed. <laughs> the criminal's <laughs> choice of getaway vehicle. By the way, I think he got caught, caught by the police. I think I'm not sure, but I think he got caught by the police. He got nothing out of it, by the way, by stealing that shit. He got nothing out of it. He just freaking did an illegal shit, and then if police like sees him or if he, if they catch him they're gonna like put him in prison for like three years or five years for stealing <laughs> even though he stole but he didn't stole anything it's pretty <laughs> because amazing, but they got a thing back he isn't the only thief who was foiled by a pickup truck what did he even stole anyways this guy tried to steal a freaking pickup truck oh he put a trap on back of his car i think <laughs> not, this isn't a deleted he tried to from home alone come and steal but the thing is trap is katie Cameron. he put a booby trap, trap behind the car california not kevin mcallister damn In the weeks prior to this video katie's neighborhood look at that guy with his fucking bicycle who'd started sneaking up on people's driveways in the dead of the night and oh, stealing yeah. tools out of their vehicles katie's motion activated porch light didn't deter the criminals and the police were of little help so the Camarinas decided to take the law into their Batman, own hands. Spider Man, Spider Man. Fortunately, <laughs> these like... suburban vigilantes didn't actually don masks and weapons to clean up the mean streets of Portville. <laughs> Instead, they grabbed a motion activated lawn sprinkler oh, and yeah. it up to their truck. The trap worked perfectly, and when this but did work out right. In his driveway that evening, all the I can't believe he's just freaking was pussy a out. Of water. Well, I assume he was a thief. Hopefully, he, he is a thief. Local paper boy. Well, no, it's not a paper boy. Didn't look like a paper boy. Scared off by a spritz of water. He got a mask on. He got a fucking hoodie on. Yeah, he's definitely a fucking thief. Hit the like button and for cat Cretan, hit subscribe. Oh yeah, man! Shout out to BMS man. All the because of him, I'm able to watch watch this video. Like right now, he made. He's the one that made this video. So shout out to him. He's full credit goes to him, man. This guy does like good, like amazing content. I watch him here and there. He does amazing fucking content be amazed so yeah full credit goes to him let's just get let's just continue shall we see if we got next so that criminal didn't steal a single tool but the camarina's diy booby tramp definitely made <laughs> it look like one 
He shouldn't feel too bad, though. Some criminals don't need outside help to make themselves look stupid whilst committing their crimes. Walmart's <laughs> I think that's official the slogan is robber, so bank robber. better. And this criminal decided to heed their what advice, the saving himself a ton of cash by stealing There's no store. way As the dim -witted people are that items dumb. With a five -finger discount, he wasn't too concerned with subtlety. Where'd he even stole? I fucking... Where'd he even the stole? As he stood in line. There isn't much information about this criminal online, what the but I'm going to go out on a limb and say he probably got, got caught. caught. Yeah. Well, that was a pretty pathetic attempt at I want to know what he stole. Was so inept. God damn it. What is this? Oh, shit. They're trying to steal a what? What? Hey. hey what? What? This thief is like a magician. Able to lift up her dress and make an entire the, television disappear the, in the blink of an eye. It's a television. The in Guapel, How in the fuck? Back in 2015. And although uh, the woman uh, looks pretty stupid squatting over the television box, the uh, that she holds uh, it between her legs, covers it with her dress, and walks out of the store that night. How? It's undeniably impressive. What? Some people use the term as thick as thieves, but I didn't really Ain't no way, bruh. How did that fucking According thing even the fit in? Authorities, this woman was never identified or caught by the police. She got, she didn't get caught by the police. Wow. Stupid. Well, one, the camera was right there. Two, stop yeah. criminals. And three, look at what would have happened if she'd been caught. Um. Ain't no fucking way, bruh. Are you serious? I think that guy's confronting them because they're stealing something and putting them inside of their freaking. Uh, Private parts. Let's just say that. Oh fuck, man. There's no way, bro. These two women from Brazil tried to emulate our favorite Costa Rican criminal, but unfortunately, <laughs> they didn't have the thigh strength. Yeah, they got caught. The job. Yeah. The thieves reportedly grabbed a number of toiletries from this store before stuffing them in their underwear Jeez. and attempting to walk out without paying. Fortunately, they were caught with their pants down as the <laughs> shopkeeper spotted what they were doing and forced oh, yeah. them to lift up their dresses, revealing their <laughs> oh, oh, I'm oh, glad fuck. the shopkeeper caught the thieves, but I really hope they didn't put those products back on the shelves without giving them a deep, deep yeah. First. You gotta, well, yeah, you need to clean them, but because they put them thing, although some things that they stole inside of their freaking others. private spot. Let's just say that. Oh my god, okay, let's just move on, yeah? Wow, she got a fucking pouch to Is that a fucking pouch? Oh, wow. They say that beauty nah. is pain. No, 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 let's move on, to yeah. Top from this clothing store, I don't think she anticipated quite how painful Let's fucking move on, bro. It, would be when she it is. Thought. This shop I can't believe they are that dumb man. Posting a pair of customized shorts with a built-in pouch that allowed her to hide her stolen goods like a criminal. Yeah, she got a pouch too. Unfortunately, I she got see that. Stuff for nothing. And after being caught by a shopping attendant, she look at her face when she got caught. Up her dress She's like, exposed her crimes what to the, the fuck? rest of the store. <laughs> the way that that criminal was exposed Why was pretty steal? embarrassing. But at least she put some thought into her robbery. The same can't be said for this next thief. What is this? Where he stole. Oh my, my boy got caught. He shut the doors. That's good. The shopkeeper shut the doors. That's actually good. He tried yeah, to steal some beer. He placed a crate full of alcohol on this store's counter and saddled up to the automatic doors. He thought he'd orchestrated the perfect crime. The thief planned to snatch what the booze the and run straight out of the store before anyone had time to react. But unfortunately, the shopkeeper was one step ahead of him. The shopkeeper had noticed the team's Damn. shifty behavior, prompting him to casually reach to his left and use a wireless key fob to lock the store's doors right at the beginning of the video. As a result, when the Why key still tried to grab beers? The run, he found himself trapped inside the store. Bruh. He attempted to steal some pretty Jack Daniels and Coke, but thanks to yeah. the shopkeeper's quick thinking, the kid ended up with Jack, forcing him to awkwardly search for cash in his pockets and have the world's most embarrassing conversation with the man he just tried to rob. Let's move from petty what thieves the... and shoplifters. His to friend a doesn't even give a shit. Food. I think is that his friend on the background? This guy right here is that? He, this guy's talking to him. He, is is that his friend? This guy's friend right here? I don't know. Let's just move on. For fuck's sake. A bit more substantial. What is this? My boy trying to steal an ATM machine, bro. 
Uh, is that ATM machine? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh my, my boy tried to steal it in a freaking transport bus. He tried to fit that thing in the transport bus, but it didn't work out. Is my guy like serious right now? Of course I gotta do it to you, you thief. Of course, yeah. He said we could have made money together. Yeah, you know, you don't want any this part of that. New Jersey was skilled enough to steal. An I don't think that Bush ever wanted any part of that. Fortunately, he'd forgotten to hire a getaway driver. <laughs> With no way of getting the ATM home, he decided to turn to public transport, lugging the machine up to a bus and asking the driver for a ride. Wow. I don't know how much bus drivers earn in New Jersey, but this one is clearly happy with his salary because he closed the door oh, and yeah. the criminal strain oh, on yeah. the side of the road. This video was absolutely hilarious, but it was originally <laughs> uploaded by internet comedian and influencer Darius DK, so oh. unfortunately, there's a good chance that this is actually <laughs> a stage prank. Even if the ATM it's, it, I, it, ain't there, no way it's a stage prank, come on now. Real criminals getting stuck in sticky situations. What is this? What the? Oh, he got. He got. This video from Andre Pradesh, India, shows the moment that a burglar was wait, discovered calling for help after. Wait, Andre Pradesh. Wait, that's where I live. Not gonna lie. The thief had reportedly broken into the temple oh, through the ventilation window before filling his pockets with holy Let's see. Oh, wait a second. He tried to steal some um. Uh, what is it like statues like that are made of gold and uh, steel? He he tried to sneak in and st uh, like maybe like there's like goddess statues that are like valuables here, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. In in my in my state in India in my state, there's like valuables like th there's a lot of goddess valuables. Like how can I say this? There's a lot of goddess statues that are like valuable as fuck here. They, they, yeah, they, they are, they are thieves. There's a lot of thieves in villages, though, not in cities. In villages, there's a lot of fucking thieves because there's a lot of temples too, temples too over there, and people like steal stuff. Like, like they, they actually do this type of stuff over there in villages, bro. Yeah, my boy got stuck. And when the criminal tried and got to caught too, hole, he, got he got stuck. stuck. Yeah, out of the wall, he stole it, but the thing is, he got cut. Talk about cool. Yeah. Kama's a bitch. For a while, the thief was forced to shout for help, alerting some passers-by. Kama's a fucking bitch. Locals weren't particularly understanding, and instead of helping the criminal escape, looks like a fucking drunken addict, bro. This guy. Not yeah. Not sure how long the thief was stuck in for the wall for, but something tells me he'll be stuck behind bars for a little bit longer. Yeah. The footage of the criminal is pretty damning, but still, it could be worse. At least he wasn't literally caught with his pants down. <laughs> from Tucson, Arizona, found himself in one of the oh, most incriminating the positions fuck? in the world, as he was caught hanging upside down on the fence of an elementary Why school. Why is he with caught his upside down? His ankle. Oh wait a second! He, I think he got caught. Let's, uh, wait a second. He's upside down because I think he tried to jump over the gate, but it went completely fucking sideways. I a think that's what happened. Yeah, he's jumping. And slipped off the fence of Miles Elementary School. He's trying to steal something brain. from elementary Apparently, school. As the criminal fell what? off the fence, his baggy pants got caught on yeah. the spikes, leaving him yeah. by his and got fucking tidy whities on show. And got the cops soon arrived ah. on the scene, helping the criminal down from the fence before cuffing him and placing him <laughs> in another tricky position. Oh the my! The police car. Oh yeah. It still isn't clear why the man was attempting to break into an elementary school. <laughs> Maybe he was there for I don't know coloring books. <laughs> I don't know what's the valuable thing in school. To color inside the lines. <laughs> That guy found himself in a pretty embarrassing situation. Oh, yeah. He wasn't the only criminal who was caught hanging upside down. Who? This thief in England was found hanging by his shoelaces after what attempting to break through a window and burglarize. Break through a window of a house, I think. Oh, he tried to break, into, to a break police, into the house, but he got to caught. Through the broken window, he got he stuck. to slip over while simultaneously getting his shoe and shoelaces trapped in the window frame. Yep. The criminal <laughs> was left hanging upside down for over an hour. Oh, as a shit. The passersby gathered to watch the commotion and mud. They're watching him getting, the homeowner getting got stuck. Work, the burglar reportedly begged to be let down, but unsurprisingly, no. the homeowner caught the cops instead. Yeah, he called the cops and stuff letting him down. Fuck that. Trying to steal my fucking valuables. I mean, people's valuables at least. 
What is going on here? My boy's trying to squeeze through a shopping... I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. Huh? Is he trying to like go through and like steal stuff inside? The I think the shop is closed. His bag got caught. Leave me your bag. Leave your bag. Get the fuck out. I'm gonna tell you right now. He just left it. Oh wow, I knew it. Everybody's gonna do that. Is that a bag? Or is that a sweater? Looks like a fucking bag to me. Yep, that thing got stuck. Is it though? Oh, it didn't. This footage shows the moment that a criminal what happened? in Australia attempted to break into a bookstore. As the burglar Why did he broke into a bookstore? He struggles with it. Maybe to steal some knowledge out of the library. The before realizing <laughs> oh my! Take it off. Despite robbing a bookstore, this thief clearly lacks the brain cells to be able to read. However, against all what odds, the, the criminal was somehow successful, and he was later recorded exiting the store with their safe, lugging the heavy container down the road. Oh, the that safe! He stole the safe from the bookstore. Oh uh, my God! The of his Why they got safe in a bookstore, bro? Times whatever was in the safe. Yeah. All those felons fell at the first hurdle. However, even when thieves make it inside the place they're robbing, there's still plenty that can go wrong. <laughs> this guy is breaking into a freaking beautiful fucking house, really? How is the door open? Why is he sneak? Why is he going around like this? What the fuck? You do know there's a camera, right? He looks into the fucking camera. That dumbass fucking... I don't know, thief, let's just say that. What is he trying to do? Why is he crawling like that, like a fucking caterpillar? My boy, okay. Just give up. No, I know what you're I, I, I don't, First of all, I don't know why the house is not fucking closed, like, closed properly. They, they're not locked at all. He just Mission sneaked in so easily. Really low budget. Well, in reality, Mission Impossible in very low budget. <laughs> Australia, not Hollywood. Of and course, it Australia. Shows the moment that a suburban home was burgled by a criminal known as the Brighton Crawler. Brighton and Crawler, yeah, crawling like a caterpillar. When you watch this bumbling criminal drag his belly across the ground, it's kind of hard to be intimidated. Oh yeah. When the crawler first broke into the home, he actually managed to notice the security cameras, prompting him to stop, <laughs> drop, and crawl out of sight. Oh, His display shit. of intelligence was pretty short-lived, and as he tried to crawl across the floor to avoid being seen, he accidentally shoveled his way yeah. into view. If that wasn't stupid enough, yeah. the crawler then turned and stared straight at the camera. Yeah, he literally stared at it, dude. His face. According what the to the fuck? police, the crawler attempted to steal two safes from the home, but when a neighbor came to investigate Safe. the disturbance, he ran away and climbed over the garden fence, escaping empty-handed. Why do... Unfortunately, the police wow. haven't been able to identify or track down the criminal, so as of now... The They're not able to track down him? Much. How? Slithering around Doesn't the he have an identity card so you can like track him down like that? No, crime. nothing? The home security cameras wow. got a pretty good look at the crawler's face, so he's incredibly lucky that the police weren't able to identify him. Oh, yeah. Committing a crime like that without That's... wearing a mask seems pretty dumb. But then again, <laughs> the disguise doesn't always make a criminal harder to oh. track down. <laughs> when this criminal from Belleville, Illinois, decided what to is hold this? up a gas station, he had the bright idea of wearing a mask. Unfortunately, his choice he wore a mask a lot to be stealing. What kind of mask is that? A fucking paper, through not paper bag, plastic bag. bag. The criminal only stole sixty dollars from the gas station. Really? To be fair, that was probably all he could carry. It's not like he could use the bag he brought. Unsurprisingly, when this CCTV footage that's a broke boy thief right, right there. Take them long to identify trying to steal a fucking gas store, store with his uh, with the fucking plastic bag mask on his at, on his string of face offenses. Fifteen the years. Bandit is pretty dumb, but he has some competition. These I mean, were caught on camera stealing alcohol from a convenience store in Louisa for sixty dollars. To carve down. I mean, it's still legal, but well, sixty dollars for fifteen years of jail time, really? I thought it would be like five years or something, but no, fifteen. Damn. Identify one of them is twenty-year-old Justin Rogers. Justin was charged with larceny, and while the police he's wearing a watermelon mask to steal. If I had to guess, I'd say they probably use their own melons. <laughs> Let's move from shoplifting that to That sounded out a very sus. The story of an independent contractor who had to pay five hundred and sixty-three dollars in damages and served two years of probation fucking... after attempting to defraud the company he was working for. A fucking what? 
He stole something that's... He's a contractor, but... Not stole, broke something? What, what did he throw down? Huh? I really wanna know what he's doing here, I'm not even gonna lie, guys. Huh? This oh, is liar! An independent this movie. motherfucker! Oh, nah, he's a he's a acting fucking actor, acting motherfucker, bro. Uh, this guy trying to get some money from government, like through uh, through accident because he tried to sue them. I think by doing this, like he can sue them by doing this fucking acting shit. You do know you got caught on camera, right? You acting looking ass. He tried to like get some money by suing the comp by suing the store that he's in. Contractor who decided yeah. to have a change in career, trying his own change his career. Yeah, the insurance fraud. At the the acting time. insurance fraud. It's the insurance fraud. He tried. Really to... pours a cup of ice on the floor yeah. before stepping on a cube and pretending to slip over. After the bullshit, video, the prostor reportedly rolled around on the floor for a while until one of his colleagues found him and called an ambulance. After being taken huh? to hospital, he filed a large insurance claim against the company, asking them to pay for his ambulance ride and the supposedly expensive treatment he received for his non-existent injuries. Non-existent injuries. To pay, but first they had to conduct an investigation into the incident. The company is happy to pay, but the thing is, they investigated the fucking incident first, and he got caught. Why, you, bro? You are a contractor. Why, why you want want a fucking like scam insurance company like that that's what the, why he, he makes good money off a contractor why he needs more money through insurance like what the fuck an investigation that uncovered this damning surveillance footage a bullshit the video incriminated alexander immediately fucking he should have gone to acting skills and so fucking he was forced to pay 563 dollars in restitution to the insurance firm serve two yeah. years of probation and undergo 14 hours of community service Okay, at least he didn't go to jail. He's doing community service instead of going to jail. So that's good. As an independent contractor ever again. However, if I was him, I'd try and find myself a shit. book some auditions. With acting chops like this, he was clearly born to be on the silver screen. Oh yeah. The floor. <laughs> Watching Alexander shamelessly steal from work is pretty disheartening. However, not all criminals are so dishonest. Some oh my. Love good old -fashioned what is this? Work. I think he's a lawnmower, but stealing stuff. Huh? He's oh no, my bad. He's uh he's stealing a lawnmower, bruh. A, a, a lawnmower. I actually want to know how much does it cost a lawnmower? Three hundred to two hundred bucks. Or is he just doing job for the freaking owner? Owner's property. This criminal is either the stupidest or the most thoughtful thief in the world. Because I after don't stealing get it. a lawnmower from a house in Port Arthur, Texas, he decided oh, to he do did some yard work, heading out into the garden it and did. mowing the homeowner's lawn. Then the when the police work. arrived, the crook reportedly ran away from the cops, dragging the lawnmower behind him. Unfortunately, there's no way he ran away from cops like that. Cumbersome, prompting him to ditch it in an alleyway before he ditched he it. Escape. The police used the security camera to identify the thief as a local criminal called Marcus Hubbard. Ah, uh, they know. Able to track Marcus down and Why? reportedly still looking for his whereabouts. They're still they're looking for his whereabouts. What? Oh, oh, where did he go? And all of this is the homeowner. After all, they got their lawnmower back and yeah. their lawn mode for free. So no, they. I don't think the lawn got mowed. Let's say that. Away from the cops, but not all <laughs> criminals are lucky enough to evade arrest. Back in 2017, John Bell from Houston, Texas, tried to rob a cell phone again, store, Texas. again with a gun and demanding that the shopkeeper. Oh, I know this. He got trapped in the store. I saw this clip, guys. Yeah, the, the owner, the owner said, told everyone to come outside. The, the that's the owner. The owner that's uh, the owner is like at the exit of the door and telling everyone to come outside. The the innocent people over there. The 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 people that like. Got there to do do shit. She told them to get outside so so she can like lock him up inside the store. 
He did got locked up. He did got fucking. They quickly rushed out of the store. He did got arrested too. Him. Yeah, locked the door. Moment, I saw this. The he fucking. He, he became hostile. Yeah. Of getting out. He became hostile too by fucking to trying to break it. But over the next trying to break the door. Everything he could he bro- to get like, out of the building. He kicked the shit out of it. And ramming yeah. The door in futile attempts to break through the glass and steal bombs. But he got arrested though. He gave up and the police came. Skinny as he was, stupid, and after a few minutes of and he begged too. Yeah, that is true. Let him out. The police arrived. Yeah. Arresting the criminal before later sentencing him to five years Damn, in jail. But they got. Although technically he what already the hell? served eight minutes. Now this next thief's breaking and entering oh skills my. are more efficient than stupid. However, the target of his burglary makes him look pretty dumb. What is this? A piano store? A musical store? A Mickey Mouse toy from a piano store. I've heard of a what? cat burglar. What? There ain't no way he. Oh my God! These 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 are just obsessed with interest in dumb stuff. It's pretty confusing. Nobody. He broke into a store, piano store, a music store, music instrumental store, to freaking steal a Mickey Mouse. Freaking, I don't know what is it called. Pa, pa, pa. Uh, how do you say? How do you say it? Such a worthless item, but hey, yeah, it's a worthless it's item. It's a maybe he just gets lonely at night. Maybe he wants something to cuddle with. Luckily, a local charity bought the store a new Mickey Mouse toy for the window and threw in a plush Minnie Mouse as an added <laughs> bonus. That's oh nice shit! Gesture. Or should I say, a mice gesture? That's what the store <laughs> did. I think. Out for that one. I'm not sure why a thief would steal a plush toy. Yeah, a plushie. Why did he steal a plushie? That's what I meant. Crime. Hunger. What is it? Hunger. There is no way he tried to steal kebab. This criminal gave a new definition to the term caught red-handed after attempting to steal a rack of kebab. He tried to steal it. Kebab restaurant. Yeah. Unfortunately, ain't no way he tried to steal kebab. Are super heated to cook the lamb meat and keep it warm throughout the night. A fact that he it's it's hot. He tried to steal. Why steal it? A fucking food. Why? Forced him to flee the shop with nothing but burnt hands and a bruised ego. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Stealing food from a restaurant is. Dumbass fucking thief. You know what's even worse? Being a quitter. That commitment commitment to his crime is disappointing to see, but to be fair, he isn't the only criminal who gave up at the first hurdle. <laughs> the door was literally open by the way. From Tacoma, Washington decided to steal this package. He saw yeah. there was a way to make it. What's in it? A firecracker? Little did he know this house was far from an easy target, and he'd accidentally stumbled upon the home of Jeremy Barrow. The creator <laughs> of an anti-porch pirate booby trap called the Black booby Box. trapper. The Black hey. Box's story starts back in 2017 when Jeremy's packages <laughs> were getting repeatedly stolen by porch oh pirates. My. Jeremy decided to get some revenge on the thieves, so he constructed a fake package. Oh, so he got sto- he got his package stolen once. So because of that, he put a booby trap. Whenever there's a package, he, he puts a booby trap. He wanna like catch the package stealers, like he put a fake. Fake package over there and put a booby trap over there. So, so whenever people trying to steal it, they get caught like that. Blank shotgun yeah. shells and fishing wire. That lets Blank out a shotgun shells. And left it. As you can see, Jeremy what the so fuck? Shotgun shells. Pretty effective at deterring porch pirates. And before long, every criminal who Holy tried to rob Jeremy shit. was sent running away, sprawling across his front yard in fear. The gadget Jesus worked so well Christ. that he started selling them. Setting up an online he started selling them, yeah. With a porch pirate problem. He put it online so he's selling those booby traps to people. A ton of money on advertising. <laughs> All Jeremy had to do to sell the product was buy Oh shit. Camera, so Don't touch my package. That's his t-shirt. That's what his t-shirt says. Packages, showing how effective the blank box is at keeping oh, yeah. delivery safe. Exposing all those poor pirates <laughs> online must be pretty satisfying for Jeremy. However, oh yeah, it sure is satisfying for me, dude. Not gonna lie. Effort because sometimes the stupidest criminals expose themselves. <laughs> Back in 2012, Hannah Sabata from Waco, Texas, what decided happened? to go on a crime spree, robbing crime six thousand dollars from a bank at gunpoint and oh, stealing a what? Dam. By all accounts, the 19-year-old had gotten away with her crimes after successfully the and making it back Did home. that? Bro, are you serious? Unfortunately, instead of lying low and enjoying her newfound wealth, Hannah decided to pull out her camera and make a YouTube video. She... Uh... The... the what? Then I robbed the bank. She's fucking proud of it, bro. What the fuck? That, nah... 
But and why is she so proud of it? Hannah boasts about her crimes in great detail while showing her ill gotten Stole the car, the stole the As bank. You can imagine it didn't take long for the police to see the, the video, and they arrested Yeah, the Hannah police saw the video, and, and because of that, with this online confession, the case was open and shut, and she, Hannah was later sentenced to 10 to 20 years in prison for her crime spree. So her life as a teenager and her damn. career as a YouTuber came to an abrupt end. Uploading She's a YouTuber like a did ah fucking stupid yeah. Back in 2017, a what the hell happened to his nose, man? Montana and established himself as one of the dumbest criminals of all time. What happened to his nose? After calling My boy's nose looked like himself. In December 2017, Why did he call 911 by himself? Santa, Santa Claus, as he attempted to burglarize a business in Citrus Heights, California, by climbing down their chimney. Now, uh, so over the years, but I think his nose is full like like that because I think the photo was taken after he like tried to broke into chimney. I think the police like took the picture of him. The uh, picture of him when he's like dirty with when he's covered with chimney dust, basically. This Got it. First <laughs> As he reached the bottom, oh the chimney, my! He got stuck. Jesse tried to wiggle his way <laughs> into the tight dark space, but eventually he accepted his Why do this into shit? his pockets and dialing 911 for help. Presumably he called 911 because he got stuck. And the police saw, like, they're convinced that he tried to break into the freaking house through chimney. Police spent a good few minutes laughing at Jesse before <laughs> heading to the scene and discovering him trapped. Oh in the my! Completely yeah, completely look at his sick. picture. I see the picture the now. The cops rescued him from the hole. <laughs> look at them happy faces. Him with one count of burglary. <laughs> Jesse might be one of the only criminals to have called the cops. Oh on my! Then he <laughs> watches back in prison. Nobody there likes snitches. Not even the ones oh shit! Themselves. They snitched on themselves too. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed um, me reacting to some dumbass thieves. I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. I'm uh, tomorrow is gonna be a gaming video, not a reaction video, guys. I'm gonna be doing like so much schedule. I I got a schedule like I do four gaming videos per week and three reaction videos per week. That's my schedule. So yeah, I hope you guys like understand. And tomorrow is gonna be a gaming video. I'm not gonna say what game. You guys gonna see it. So yeah, I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Take care and see ya.